All right guys, so I've actually been waiting a long time to get to this video and it's something that I'm so excited about. I had to make a separate video on and it really, all it has to do with is drying your car and I know that everyone has their own way of drying it. I personally have used a drying towel paired with a drying aid on my car. I have Expel on almost all of it. Um, and on top of that is C quartz. So historically I've either been using um, CarPro Reload or something like that. Uh, that works really well with the coating or even in general um, with the Jeep I would either use Adam's uh, detail spray or H2 Garden Gloss or any quick detailer is really great but what I want to tell you is number one I found the best drying towel I've ever used in the whole wide world and I know everyone says that about the waffle weaves and those are great but the Gion Silk dryer is something that I my friend Will and I have to thank you so much there was an event and of course they're selling other stuff. So he said, buy the towel, it's $25. If you don't like it, I will buy it from you. So at that point it was like, well, I have nothing left to, you know, I have nothing to lose if he's willing to back with his own money. Plus if I really don't like it, cause I'm picky, I'll just sell it to him or whatever. Got me to get it, I grabbed one and I loved it. Instantly within two weeks I bought another one. So I have two uh, big silk drying towels from Gion. I would highly, highly recommend picking these up for drying your car. If you do use a towel, definitely use it. I do use air, but I only use it in the cracks and crevices because it's paired with my DeWalt little blower and it's really not super powerful and the batteries don't last super long, but I didn't want to blow off the entire car every time. It's just, it's a big to do and I, and most of it's wrapped. So it just doesn't seem necessary at this point. I just get all the, you know, around the license plate and stuff like that. So I use uh, long story short, I use the Gion silk dryer, pair that with your favorite drying aid, but, one drying aid that I happen to get kind of around the similar time is uh, CarPro Act2O or Eco. I think, I don't remember exactly how you said it. I watched a video of Corey applying this. I think he called it Eco. But anyways, it's a, depending on how you dilute it, you definitely have to dilute this stuff. You can't just stick a, a sprayer in here and start using it. I don't think that would work very well. It, it can either be a waterless wash or a quick detailer. And this stuff is really amazing. It seriously changed my whole drying procedure immensely. I'm twice as good at drying the waffle weaves. Honestly, I haven't touched them except for randomly with the glass in like since I found this thing. So if that says anything, I would definitely check this out. It's just so amazing. Um, I'm so excited, but I diluted. I'm looking at the back to remember what I diluted. I did one to 10 dilution ratio uh, for this stuff. And I happened to pick up a Quasar. This is a 360 double spraying bottle. So I've heard really good things and also really bad things about these. So a buyer beware, this is very expensive for a bottle. This is the one liter bottle just cause they are out of, I, I actually think I wanted half, but what's cool is if you spray it, it actually sprays on the, when you let it go, it does another spray. So that's kind of cool. You just want to be careful. You don't want to use too much, but diluted one to 10 in this paired with this is the absolute like life changing. I know it sounds really annoying. I'm going to show you how it works and how well it works. And then you guys can be the judge if it's worth checking out and even changing procedure at all. Um, I don't know why you don't really hear a lot more about these towels. They're, you know, they're not waffle weaves, but they're really a kind of a dual ply. So this is the really fine, more of a fine side, but primarily I use this side and you can definitely use, if you really wanted to, you could use one like on the M3, but I don't like the idea of using a single towel for the whole car. Uh, if you don't have to, just because if you get something in the towel and you don't see it, then you're wiping the whole car with it. So I'd rather use at least two. I'll probably pick up one or two more um, of the biggest size they make and and just use it. So anyways, let's get to it. I'm gonna show you exactly how it works in my uh, second part of my process here. All right, so all you have to do, drape it across and then drag it across the panel. And as you guys can hopefully see, no water spots remain at all, none. So ideally we would not be in the sun right now. Um, I'm gonna have to work really quickly. I'm actually doing a full detail, but this is a dedicated video on this. Excellent, obviously it looks good. Um, that's as scientific as it gets, guys. All right, so I hope that was helpful. That honestly, like I said, changed my whole drying procedure. Amazing stuff. And I, it's just unfortunate that not as many people talk about those two products, the CarPro Act2O or Eco, however the heck you say it, 
paired with the Dion drying towel, the silk dryer. I put both links in the description below, but that's a very specific update on my drying procedure for the M3 and for the Jeep and for a lot of cars. Um, if they don't have protection, I'll use a different drying aid, but the X2O stuff works amazingly and you can even use it on the windows. Like CarPro Reload does leave a little bit of streaking on the paint and then it kind of all right, sorry, sorry about that. The battery died because I was talking too much. Car Pro Reload will uh, streak a little bit, but it usually evaporates as long as you don't have too much product. But it does tend to streak on the windows, I've noticed. Um, I will say the Act2O does not do that. It's honestly a great glass cleaner, especially if you're not diluting it too much. There's not too much product in your spray bottle. So I would definitely grab, and the Quasar spray bottle is great. I've had a good experience. I know a few friends of mine have had terrible experiences where you're buying a super expensive bottle. I don't know if it's like 15 or $20 instead of like $2, so, or three or four or $5 even. You know, it's very expensive. Um, but it seems to be good. It holds a lot of product. It does the, the double spray, so for now, now it's working really good so I'll give you guys an update if it breaks for some reason or there's some crazy issues but that is my official drying procedure for most of my cars 2018 springtime hopefully I mean it's at least sunny out it was like a little colder this morning but anyways that's the update links below and I will see you guys next time